it's so finally coming up for a beautiful following the FAA confirmation that the test date for the second starship flight is now in the hands of the fish and wildlife services or the FWS SpaceX is now ready to start conducting ground tests of the world's most powerful rocket yet again Starship fully stacked while the team prepared for a launch rehearsal we continue to work with the FAA on our launch license, the company announced yesterday after putting ship 25 back on Booster 9 at a launch pad. The huge test can take place as soon as today. Last week, the company informed the Coast Guard that its plan to conduct ground testing on Starship is weak. According to the Coast Guard, SpaceX has informed the U.S. Coast Guard of ongoing testing at their facility located south on Brownsville, Texas near Bocaccia. Beating starting on Tuesday, October 17, during testing a hazard area will exit in the SpaceX facility extending into South Bay and the Gulf of Mexico, the area blowing represent the U.S. water's proportions of the hazard area SpaceX indefined has uh, subtitable to potential hazard, including blast pressures, debris, glaciers, leaks, and fires during the test. The date also matches road closures granted to SpaceX for its test site in Boca Chia, with October 17 being the primary date and the following two days being backup opportunities. The local government noted for the years confirmed that will be test activities will be non flight the following two days. Serve as backup opportunity. It's important to note that the test conduct will be no flight activities, meaning it will be a critical step towards preparing the Starship rocket for its next launch as SpaceX declared it seemed that we rocket could face a long delay as it waits for the FWS to approve change to the launch pad after a first track. Flight attempt in April, Max company has made dozens of system level upgrades to Starship since the April flight and they primarily involved the rocket's engine, its system and fire suppression capabilities. Most of the failures during the first Starship test involved its engine and the engines bay as SpaceX tried to fly a rocket with 33 engines for the first time and its history details also say serious damage to the launch pad and while some the uh, predicted and astray ship would have to be grounded for the more than area a year as SpaceX rebuilds the part pad the fame quickly installed a fire supervision system and tested it through a static fire that starship orbital launch attempt is a critical event not only for SpaceX which is counting on starship to further reduce launch costs and increase launch index with also from NASA as agency has approved SpaceX with more than $4 billion US in award through its human landing system of HLS program to develop variants of Starship to land astronauts on the moon for its estimate lunar exploration company. The agency is closing following SpaceX Starship testing. I am just truly impressed by the scale of the, these pictures and if and the and what the vehicle look like in a integrated stack rate vision joke of NASA Legally Research Center who is working on HLS during a panel discussed on the twenty third of January at the AIAA from showing several images of Starship development, we are literally trying to launch skyscrapers. Skyscrapers her nose of inside into Starship flight development includes having astronauts visit to ensure that we vehicle can be safely operated by them. It is only ultimately a vehicle that needs to be uh, operated by uh, astronauts. He said, "If you don't, we have the cons conversation if with astronauts." As crew members and operators of the spacecraft during the design, you might get far enough along with our design before you find our vehicle is as SpaceX conducts Starship tests and beach. Bokashia it's uh, constructing a new Starship launch facility on a grounds of launch complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center that over for that launch pad now 
overshadows the existing pairs used for a Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches. It's very exciting, exciting to see the progress being made at SpaceX facilities right now, including at KSC, where they are building a second orbital launch capability, he said NASA HLS awards leave it up through SpaceX its conduct its lunar lander launch either from the KSC on Bokachia, he noted in short we hope that today tests are bringing Starship closer to its global researching orbit and slapping down in the Pacific in other piece of important next exam space trade private astronaut missions and our track for a lift up next year Houston based Axiom Space X3 flight remains on track for a launch toward the International Space Station no sooner than January of 24. The four crew members, including a from NASA astronaut and European Space Agency, reserve astronaut and a passenger of flew to space the Virgen Galactic earlier this year spoke with journalists on October, Monday, October 16 about their excitement. I am very happy to be a part of this mission and this great crew, Swedish astronauts Marcus once said during the live streamed press conference. There's X3 will include presentations from government and industry alike in his country. I'm also proud of being trusted by Sweden, Sweden and European of President Swede, Sweden in space and throughout that this mission which is me is so much more than 14 plus days in space and make background as a fighter pilot and test flight as well X3 will launch of the LISS from NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida using SpaceX Crew Dragon, Spaceflight, Spacecraft, and Falcon 9 rocket. Exume signed an agreement with SpaceX in 2021 to launch their additional crews to spacecraft and preparing Mission X on which flew in April of 2022. Additionally, SpaceX in the only fully certified commercial spacecraft for NASA missions so far for the mission will be led by former NASA astronauts Michael Lopez, a dual US Spanish citizen who also com commanded A1. He will be joined by ones who was called up for this reserve astronaut status. Went to a three Italian Air Force Colonel Walter Villa, who followed to space on Organ Galactic first commercial launch this past June, and Turkey's first citizen in space. It will be Lopez Algeria's. It will be Lopez Algeria's six space mission five second and a first for once. And Jaziri Lopez Algeria said the training is going smoothly and uh, and that the crew has learned a lot since AX1 when other ISS astronauts had to step in to help the crew with their talks. He said AX on where the Starship mission on a ag aggressive timeline and that Axiom SpaceX matured its process since that time in the follow-up mission A2 and May of 2023. Commander and the former NASA astronaut Peggy Wilson, he talks with fewer responsibilities to give her, her time to help the crew in the Meantime, NASA that all commercial missions must have a former agency astronauts and uh, help moving on. Have you realized that the past launches in recent months have all been from SpaceX? Indeed, did SpaceX dominance in the launch market become an unofficial theme of World Satellite Business Week, starting with the very first panel having such a domain to launch service provider? It's probably not healthy in general for a commercial pro pro prospectus form of industry, said Welcome Managing Director of the Telecom Media and Entertainment. Group at investment banking fame lasered. No one wants a monthly cooking of one point of the value chain. He suggests that increased government investments might be needed to bluster competition in the launch market. I think critical and continued increases in government budgets focus on space and communications are going to be essential to pushing towards technologies, he said, and maybe even enabling us 
second or third launch company one of spacex customers agreed that the company executive hand uh, monfollow on the market let's face is spacex is probably at the moon's place right now said loka chief executive of d orbit a company that has fallen several orbital transforms Vehicle carrying small STS has hosted players on SpaceX transporter missions that has we added no fault of SpaceX itself not because they wanted to but because of many other situations that created this scenario even if SpaceX has a commercial launch Monopolo has separate question is whether the company is acting like a mons monopolist using its market power in a anti competitive competitive manners to that depend on where the other company sits in the market well flocks up that's about it for today Ex- episode thanks you so much for waiting and if you want to support your channel and get access to exclusive c- content please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below we appreciate your generosity and your passion your space exploration has always this is kevin from great spacex from and the my second channel is jackson henry and until next time keep looking up